Our oldest daughter was in high school and she happened to fail Algebra 1 the first semester. And I guess we were first time parents. We were a little blown away by that. So I went in and talked to the teacher and as I talked to the teacher and I kind of looked around, I could see, you know, my, our oldest daughter is very quiet. This really wasn't the environment for her to be successful in and we hadn't really been paying as close of attention as we should but so we pulled her out and we actually had a tutor that helped her uh, do all of her math um, in high school outside of the the school and she she did well but what we found is that she didn't gain confidence in it so when she went to college the last class the very last class she took for a bachelor's degree was college algebra now, she aced it, but what that tells you is she had it, she, she knew the material, but she didn't have confidence. And so as we started looking at Mathnasium, that's exactly what it does. It, it helps the people to not only help them get the concept, but to gain confidence in it as well. So that's, that's been our big thing, and she already said it, and I, I said it to you earlier, we want to eradicate that, well, I didn't go to college because I couldn't do the math, or I didn't take that major because I couldn't do the math. Because you can. You can do the math. What happens is, is kids either miss a concept, don't understand a concept, they get frustrated, and then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Oh, I must be crappy at math. And sure enough, that's what happens. The other thing that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that we find a lot of times too is that doesn't just start and happen no. when they're going into college. It starts clear back, you know, either elementary school or grade, middle school grade. in there somewhere that math is always going to be a stumbling block and lots of times, you know, attitude is really important in those concepts also. Mm -hmm. But you got to hit it back earlier than that mm -hmm. so that they don't carry that attitude with them. The way the Mathnasium program is set up is that it starts as a building block. I oftentimes tell people to consider comparing a Jenga game where your base is only as big as the top is also. And so you can go fairly high, but you're going to have holes and things as you're going along, but it's susceptible to falling because the base isn't broad. But you compare that to a scaffolding, your base is broad and wider, then you build up and you're stable. And that's what we try to do here is we try to make it understandable so that we will use manipulatives, we'll use, we draw a lot of pictures, a lot of visual math um, concepts, just so that they understand it a little bit better. So we're here not to replace the parent and not to replace the school teachers because school teachers are doing a darn good job, but we're here to supplement and, and help. And that's sometimes what you, what you need.